And if you do that, you look back at it. Look back at it. Look back at it. Look back at it. I'm sorry. Let's go. One, two, three, finish. Oh. Keep going. You finished, mate? Right? Good morning, everybody. It is, what day is it? Friday. It's Friday. Roxy. Morning. So I've got my breakfast going on here. This is 100 grams of pineapple, got a blackberries, got strawberries, got some raspberries, where are they? That look the size of a freaking strawberry. Look at that! It's a raspberry! Raspberries. And it all goes in the bowl and it's gonna get some yogurt on it. There's Laney, and there's numerous amounts of brew. Why? There's an entire crew ready to film today. So today we're gonna to be doing some Gymshark content. And this one is a campaign um, around the music, the playlists, and that kind of motivation. Oh, that's kind of cool light. So yeah, we'll crack on. The old girl out to play, and this <laughs> is how you get the shots. So we've got the old girl out to play, got the new jacket on. It's a little bit chilly, but we're getting some cool shots for the new feature we're doing with Gymshark. Uh, I'm gonna take this girl out for a final run, then we're off to the gym, get some footage there, plus a little bit of a cheeky workout. See you there. So we're in the gym now, ready to shoot. You know, not making too much of us, not taking up too much space. tripod so we're going to be sat on the bench earphones are going to come off it's going to scan round into the earphone and then boom it comes away and lo and behold it's not me training it's someone listening to my playlist and that's what this whole content's going to be about it's going to be about the songs of playlist so if you're not on it check out spotify playlist my personal one and the gymshark one that i have on gymshark will both be linked in the description below so go check them out get motivated i'll see you back home go on then let me see your mind blowing trip i'm, I'm ready this is incredible. Hi Biggie. <laughs> I got this. It's always got a one-up on each other. Go on then. <laughs> oh! And backwards. Boom. That's it. Shoots a wrap. Thanks to all these guys. But now I've got to ride this bitch back home in the dark in the cold. I have eight layers on. I can still feel the cold in my special place. Hi. What's been going down? Have you been guarding the house? No. Do you just stare at my shoes whenever I talk to you? Yes. This is what happens when you leave the house and come back, but you have a laney in your life. Sandwiches. Penguins. If you don't know what a penguin is, then up your game in life. Don't know what that is, but it's edible, drinks, and chocolate. All right, boys. Tuck in. Yeah, let's do this. Straight for a penguin. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> rebel. Why can't penguins play football? Uh, because what? there's snowball. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right. I'm going to go back to that picture. So much. So that's what we're doing. Mhm. Mm Sticking it where? So we're looking at the rhomboids, levator scapula at the top, and then infraspinatus around the shoulder. Lovely. I need to be relaxed. So I yeah, can't stick. You it. can't. Yeah, you need to stay still. What are you doing, hey? <laughs> <laughs> right, Rebecca hates being on camera, so we'll just zoom in. Focus, there you go. No, so this great. is a lovely lady that comes in once every kind of two weeks-ish. 
maybe sooner if we need it. And she sorts of comes and massages us, sorts out all the niggles and pickles and higgles that we've got going on. So I've just had it on my back done and my shoulder, but I have an issue with this shoulder. And she learned to do stabby stabby needle. Acupuncture. Otherwise known as acupuncture. Never had it before, so we're gonna have a go, right? Cool. Yep. Just go through quickly what acupuncture is supposed to do. So you're not doing the Chinese version of it where we go, ooh, your chi look dirty, cleany cleany. <laughs> we're doing the more physiological. Yeah. So we're looking at dry needling, so we're going to be needling in the tissue, the muscle tissue. So we're going to be looking at your trigger points, which are like your knots within your muscle or any tight, taut bands. It increases blood flow, oxygen, nutrients and chemicals to the tissue to make it relax. relax. There you go. So that's the theory behind acupuncture. The theory behind a fire and this looking like a, a semi-erotic porn set is not anything I have pants on. So we're doing the back of the shoulder first? Yes. So if you didn't know, I have an impingement on the shoulder, which is all to do with this area here. How relaxed do I have to be? You can watch it. You need to be very relaxed. All right, I'm relaxed. Right. I'm going to feel he's stabbing me. What? Is it going to be feel like a needle going in? Yeah, kind of. What? Like is... a, sometimes you can feel like a little sharp prick. <laughs> There's no need to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> so with left shoulder impingements, what you often get is like, Overactivation of the trap, underactivation of the shoulders, rear delt, scapula, loads of issues. So this is supposed to make the body. S you can stab me. That feels like my. Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is supposed to make the body kind of signal to the areas of issue. So basically putting like a beacon on your problem points. So what are you doing now? So I'm just marking out your areas that I'm going to put them in. Are you already stabbing me and just not telling me? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of hope that was it. <laughs> it's this done. Oh. You're gonna stab me now? Yeah. Alright, zoom that in. Right, are you ready to take a deep breath in? I know. <laughs> 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 really? No, I didn't even feel it. <laughs> take a deep breath in. I know. Oh, well, you really don't feel it? No. You will when I start like messing with them though. Now can you see that, how it's bending? The muscle's tight, so it's stopping me and pushing it in a, lo a little bit more. So you're wiggling it through more? Yeah. Still can't feel it, though. Right, stay still. You're a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel, you feel that, that one. yeah. yeah. Oh, look at all three of those needles stuck I'm in I'm putting in another one. Oh. Right, take a deep breath in. And out. Ooh, that was weird. Feel that one? Yeah, it shot a little thing down my arm. Right, and then leave them in for a minute. And then what we're going to do is, there's a few techniques you can do with the needles to get them in a bit further. So stuff like thrusting. Yeah, try and camera it and mess with them. So this is called thrusting. <laughs> okay. So you're just trying to... Can't feel that. Right, so, because you can't feel that. Yeah, I mean, I can feel you pulling it. Then I'm going to do a technique called searching. So this is like a star shape. Tell me when you can feel it. Feel, in what way? So like a little heaviness. He what? Or a pain. Okay. If that makes sense. I mean, I can feel you moving it. You felt that straight away, didn't you? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was a proper one. Right. And then we'll just leave them there for five minutes. Okay, so we've done the back. Now we're going to do... Front of the shoulder. See that yeah. sort of touch, yeah. yeah. So are these like trigger points that you're finding now? Yeah, so Test like them to see if they're tight. Spots, yeah. Are they generic points on people or is it just because yeah. you know my shoulder? Well, it's because I know where, where to hit with your shoulder. Oh, that's right in there. Take a deep breath in. And out. I literally cannot feel that at all. That's crazy. And that is such a flattering angle. <laughs> so that's two out of how many? Four. Oh, felt that one. Yeah. Just the stab there. Oh, I can feel that one way more. Yeah. Not in a bad way. What is going on? When you say feel it, like, like what? Like a, a bit of a pain. Do you like? I can't even feel the needle. No? No. What about this one? I think I'm dead inside. Oh, yeah, I felt that one. Mm. Oh, that's right in there. Can I wiggle it? 
you want, but please. Right, what, how are you going to wiggle it, though? I don't know, I'm just going to wiggle it. <laughs> don't slip. What do you do, a so, star motion? No. So you just twist. But you've got to twist forward and backwards. Because if you twist forwards, yeah. all, the t all the muscle fibres will scramble together. So you do it forwards and backwards, so then the claws open, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. They've got spring heads on them. Yeah. Like doing. Oh. <laughs> look how much they. So there's a spring loaded head, and look how much they're manipulatable. I can kind of feel that. Yeah. It's by no means painful in any way, okay. shape, or form. And that's it. No blood. Yes. Sometimes they can draw blood, but only time. Probably depends on the person. Getting close that when she pulls this one out. Wow! Oh, that was inside me! <laughs> there you go. That's impressive. Ooh, there's blood on that one. Oh, oh, we got a bleeder. <laughs> Lex is feeling faint now. Yeah, it's feeling faint. Oh, oh no. Yeah. And lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's it. You couldn't even tell that those are stuck in me. Uh, what's a rough time frame on expecting to see or feel differences? Two to check them out. So you so feel, you'll feel, I'm you'll feeling feel it. it straight away. Yeah, literally. It was like, just holding the camera is making it achy. Yeah. It should automatically. Right, well, we'll see. Right, now in the kitchen. Oh, it's bloody freezing in here. But uh, we've got to let Lainey get on with hers. Fluffy head. But yeah, just going back to it, I can literally feel it instantly where it was put in here on the side. It's, it's as if it's, um, it's like when, when you have a, a real knot and someone gets really deep into it and then holds it for like, you know, a cat of 10 until it eases off like it's supposed to do. That's what it feels like someone's been doing. But she hasn't, she literally only worked on my back. We didn't do any front of the shoulder work. And I can really feel a release, not a release, but like, it's a weird way of putting it. I can really feel like, like, like almost doms right the way through the front of that shoulder already where she's had it, which is obviously what it's supposed to help promote. It's supposed to help that release of that muscle. So maybe that is doing something. But I do have a theory that this kind of thing only works alongside a good training regime, a good rehab regime, plus that massage. So I don't think you can just do this and then expect it to cure things. You've got to do this so that it helps uh, work alongside your rehab. So they work like synergistically. So this helps open up the muscles so that when you do the rehab movements, you get a little bit more mobility, a little bit, bit, bit more activation, more movement. And then obviously with the massage, then you get into full fiber releases. So Bailey, every time, every time I'm recording. Really? Bailey? Give me a 30 seconds. So we'll see how it feels in a couple of days time. I'll let you know, I'm gonna go train tonight and then let you know if it's done anything. But initial initial thoughts, felt like it activated something, felt like it hit something, felt like it worked something. All good things. You can go drink your water now. <laughs>